On day one of the special town meeting, Thomas Garabedian opened up his first town meeting as town moderator after beating Dr. Bruce Carlin in the previous town election. After the Pledge of Allegiance, a moment of silence was held for well-known town meeting personality and former town government member, resident John Duffy, who recently passed away. Article 2 was then voted to be moved to day 2 after a motion. After that, discussion about Article 1, the Periodic Charter Review report and recommendations started. The first motion was for changes in goals for the library director position. The motion passed with no debate.
And then the second motion was to keep town clerk in elected position. Most of the discussion from residents was for town clerk to be elected. There was then some language changes to section 3.6. The language change, which passed a call vote, allowed boards and committees with appointing authority the ability to adjust the compensation of who they appoint. A motion was then made by planning board member and resident Frank D'Urso to make town treasurer an elected position. But after a recommendation by town council to give them some time to come up with the correct terminology for the motion, discussion of the motion and the rest of the article was pushed to day two of the town meeting, which we will show you next segment. The next order of business was Article 3, Acquisition of Property at 61 Main Street for Downtown Corridor Realignment. After complaints of no cost specified in the article, Town Council Raymond Myers explained that the proposed article does not give the Board of Selectmen the right to spend money on the proposal. Town Council mentioned a second vote would be needed to allocate any amount of money towards the project. Shortly after, the article passed a standing vote 96 to 22. And then it was time for Article 4, Authority to Negotiate Solar Agreements. After questions about cost by residents, the town manager stated that this article gives selectmen the power to negotiate, not spend funds. Town Council stated that the Department of Revenue made it a requirement to first require town meeting approval to negotiate and then town meeting approval to purchase. The article passed a call vote. 